Welcome friends. In this tutorial, we'll study about how to create web controls. Web controls are the special features provided by ASP.NET. When we want to define some common features, then we can use web controls. For example, in our page, there is a, some links and headers. These links and headers are common to all pages. So we have to copy just this code and we have to put this code in all pages. But if we don't want to do this, then we can use web user control. So web user control saves a lots of times and it can be reusable. If we change the user control, then change will be reflected in all other pages that inherits that user control. So to create a web user control, go to solution explorer and right click on solution add new item and select web user control give name to web user control we are giving header the extension of web user control is dot ascx place this code in separate file and click on add so we can see one control line is generated which shows language is called c sharp and code file is equal to header.scx.cs which is our post back code file so now we go to our web forms and we open the source we just cut our header and put it in user control now let's see design view of user control we can see we have created this user control now if we want to put this user control in our form then go to our form put your cursor when you want to put user control go to solution explorer just drag this user control to that cursor you can see user control is placed in our web form so now we can use this user control in other forms also so this saves lots of time in our web application and it is the main use of web user control. Now let's run it and see what is the output. We can see user control is at the header of the page. So this is the main use of user control. Thank you.